Hey guys, I'm Pranavin Hassan and today I'll be talking about remote control by Nady Okarafur. So I first came across remote control through one of my favorite booktubers, that is Reagan and her channel Produce Project. Remote control was on her TBR and when she was explaining the synopsis of this book, it really intrigued me. So I downloaded an ebook version of this book. So remote control is a science fiction novella. It's around 100 to 120 pages. And if you're listening to the audiobook, I guess it would be around two to three hours and it's set in a futuristic Ghana. So in this book, we follow the story of a 14 year old girl called Sankofa. Nobody knows anything about Sankofa. Like nobody knows any factual details about Sankofa. There are so many myths and legends surrounding this 14 year old. She is the adopted daughter of death and she is a remote control of death. She is an alien. She is evil. She's a witch. There are so many, uh, legends surrounding Sankofa but nobody actually knows who she is but everybody knows this one thing for certain wherever Sankofa goes her fox follows her and wherever Sankofa goes death follows her if she goes somewhere somebody is going to die in that place and this fact creates fear and reverence in people so this is the story of Sankofa we follow her all throughout Ghana where she visits different places kills a few people and just takes things from people she's a villain slash hero or you know she's just a 14 year old who's figuring out herself and life so this is the basic premise but the plot is not just about Sankofa's present life it's also about what happened in her past to make Sankofa the way she is so Sankofa used to be known as Fatima she used to live with her parents in a Shea farm and when she was four years old Fatima witnessed a meteor shower and while the meteor shower was going on a strange object like a seed or a kernel fell down from the sky and dropped right onto the tree on which she was sitting and that thing uprooted her entire life. I cannot tell you what it did or what it is actually because this story is really hard to summarize without spoiling it. It does something which gives her powers, a very dangerous ability to guard herself and also harm others. So. This is the story of how Fatima became Sankofa and Sankofa being Sankofa. She's going all around Ghana and just leading her strange, absurd existence. I I have no idea what to like say about this book. It was a very absurd experience. Absurd is the word I'm going to use a lot in this video. So I started reading it like day before yesterday or something and the beginning was very intriguing there are just 10 i think 11 chapters in this book and the beginning was like super captivating i couldn't stop reading it and the first chapter second chapter third chapter after that it gets a bit slow like not slow i mean no part of the book is slow it's a novella it's not meant to be slow but it's like why am i reading this like what's the point of knowing all this and then you follow sankofa all around the uh, city and the country and I don't know it just got a little bit repetitive and redundant in a few places like I didn't see what's the point of like like this part of the story I'm doing a really bad job talking about this book because this book is very unusual in the least to say it's it's hard to talk about without spoiling it for the people who didn't read it just know that this is not like one of your usual books it's going to be um, very fast paced and so okay final verdict once and for all I was not a huge fan of this book I was in the beginning but then it got pointless I don't know it's a story of course every story is beautiful but every story is not for you and this story was not for me I thought it was in the beginning but as the story progressed I didn't really find it so captivating as everybody else in the world seems to think about this book like all the reviews I've read about it and watched on YouTube everybody is loving remote control and I am the only one who didn't get the point of the story like okay and like what's the thing in the end and after reading the climax also there's no sense of closure there's no um, satisfaction that a mystery has been solved it's just okay that ended kind of feeling so i didn't 
enjoy it as much as I thought I would or as much as anybody else in the world did but I think you should definitely give it a try because it's unique and it's set in a futuristic Ghana and the place is very beautiful at least for the place and the setting itself you have to give it a try and it's only 100 pages so you won't be spending a lot of time reading it and maybe you would like it more than me or maybe you would find the point of the story I mean there's no point for any story it's just to experience and enjoy it but anyways it was not for me and I hope it's for you and I hope you'll give it a try and like it more than I did so until next video goodbye